Well, hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to more of Seven Days to Die. Last time, we had survived another horde perfectly, just absolutely perfectly. Barely got any damage to the base other than, you know, cops blowing up or my bullets ricocheting off of the, uh, you know, things causing issues, which my own fault, to be honest, or using a shotgun in an enclosed space where the bullet spreads and hits the walls and stuff like that, so that's whatever. We also tried to scale a tower, ended up dying on the roof of said tower, and then managed to rescue our loot and get back home before Horde at night finished. Absolutely insane. And you know what? I think... I think that I have a new strategy to try out on skyscrapers. I don't know if it'll work. And it's, it's definitely not going to be pretty, I think. Like, it's going to be a thing, right? So that's the time for another, that, that's something for another time. Anyway, let's go ahead and start kicking up Seven Days to Die. Getting in here. And like I said last time, I was going to do some offline stuff, which I did. And we're currently at around 20 hundred. We have a little bit of time to explain what I did this, uh, this last couple of days here in game. And then to get ready for the board. I've already gone through and picked out all the ammunition and all the, the basic stuff, we can also double check here, it's still four days. Um, all the ammunition, all the, the medical supplies and stuff that I need for the Horde Knight. I've already collected, so we don't have to rush through any of that. We have a perfect amount of time to take a deep breath, show my work, and then get ready to fight the Horde. We've already got everything we need. We're just gonna real quick show what I've done and then go from there. So, did a lot of work, level up quite a bit. I maxed out all the stats that I wanted to in Fortitude and moved on to Strength. Um, and Strength specifically, I only upgraded uh, one point into the base Strength thing, so I used two points there. Now I need three points to increase Strength even further. So yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and open up the door here. And we can go outside, and you'll you'll see definitely a change. Uh, this whole place is paved now. You can see a couple of places where I accidentally increased to cement prematurely. Um, I widened a little bit over here, but I decided to max out that area since I've already dug a pretty deep hole. Um, and you can see I did a little more over here as well, as well as like a uh, little strip here. I plan to do more around the outside like that. Uh, reinforce some of this stuff. I noticed that there is some damage to the wall here. I feel like the zombies are spawning here and attacking, not trying to go around. Um, but you can see this whole place upgraded and all that. And then I built a little bit down here because I needed some stone. So I, I've mined basically way over there and there just to get a bunch of stone. Hey, Moonfaced Man, thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Uh, built this wood down here. In addition to all of this basic stuff, um, I'm going to go ahead and come up here. I'm just going to shut these doors. Up. Here we go. So I expanded a little more over here. I don't remember if this place was all cemented over last time I showed you guys. This thing is still nothing. I, I did a little more mining to make it kind of more flat and looks good here. Kind of slope the edges around this area. And as we come to our, our bunker, you can see it's basically fully steel now, other than the top layers where the zombies won't be attacking. I also made a, a larger area here and fully cemented the alleyway between these and all the way up here. So it's got a nice level floor. As you can see, everything in here is still cemented, nice and perfect. And even got a little bit around here that I, I've, I've dug all the way to the, uh, to open up the map, all the way to the wall over here, basically. You can see the darker shadows where I've dug a little more land out as well. 
So we come over here, we can see it reaches all the way down there to what is this border of the property that we're talking about. Then you can see the steel wraps around all the way over here, and we kind of end the concrete abruptly right here. I'm hoping that the zombies will uh, just jump up here if they come through this alleyway and not mess up. Because I noticed last time when I was digging around this that the wall back here uh, had some damage to it. Not only that, but there was a square of concrete missing from the side of the wall here, which means that zombies were definitely attacking the sides of the building while we were surviving the last horde. You can see there's still like little places where concrete damage has been uh, occurring. So I, I'm wondering if zombies are doing messed up stuff. And also I placed this block accidentally a long time ago. So it's just gonna live there now. So see right here, a little bit of steel damage. But yeah. The main issue with clearing out all of the, the dirt to make it a, a nice flat plane is the fact that this area, as you can see here, um, there's two blocks of clay and stuff. So I have to do like the top layer and the bottom, or I can get underneath here, I can just mine out the bottom and do that until it all collapses. And then I have to kind of do a little bit of cleanup. But all in all, yeah, so we got all of this area, all of this, and that, and that. It's gonna be a, a huge pain to get all that. But anyway, we have all of our ammunition, all of our medical supplies, our repairing uh, equipment here. We are ready for a night. Let's go ahead and get on in here. And I think that I want to um, fortify walls here. Um, do I have enough steel to do the bottom as well? I think I do. Go. I still got enough steel to repair stuff, I think. Um, but yeah, it took a lot of steel and such in order to fully upgrade everything that I was doing. So we're still open. That's not great. Let's go close that real quick. Gotta be quick because the horde is coming in just a couple of minutes. All right, that's closed. This remains down. Oop, oh, oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. That's bad. Ooh, that's bad. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Close that door. Turn the generator on now. And let's close this so the birds can't get into us. All right, perfect. So, I made some more modifications, and as you can see, I was able to make a blue shotgun, level five. And uh, in this, rather than normal shells, I have the AP slug rounds. I hopefully have it be so it's not as damaging to the walls and such. We also got the uh, rifle, the magnum, which now has a scope on it. Got a... I moved the drum magazine that I had from the rifle onto the M60, so now it holds 118 rounds. Nice. Come on, show yourself. Right, let's be careful of these guys real quick. Birds are the least of our worries right now. Also on the... It's not bad, we want to swap those. On the rifle, it now has the radiation uh, purger. So now the radiation zombies won't heal if I use that. Uh, we got a... Oops, we got a demolisher, so let's go ahead and take out him quick. Make sure we don't accidentally happen here in the chest. Real careful with that. I think he might be crawling now. Very nice crawling. Okay, 
Okay, she's down. Perfect. One bird down. That's two. Come on. Two birds down. Excellent. Alright, let's use the M60 and... Nope, there's a Demolisher right there. We cannot do that. Yet. Alright, those are down here with the bears. I think he fell, so that be a problem. Let's reload this quick while we have the second. Some zombies in their heads here. There's the demolisher. Oh, looks like he died by the electricals. That's good. So there's the cops with their vomit. That one died. Put on the next car. Let's explode. He's gone. Alright, level up to level 3. Which means we can now upgrade our strength to 9. Perfect, perfect. And keep tapping the heads while we're going through this. I think we'll try to stick to the Magnum for now. We start getting a lot of zombies built up if we use the M60. Something else here. If they get too close, we can always use the shotgun. We have so much Magnum ammunition. We're going to be wise to use it up. A lot of those up here. I'll try to clean up the birds quick. Should be all the birds for right now. No demolisher. Not ideal. He just ran right up here, huh? So why am I hungry? I ate just before I. Did I forget to eat? I swear I, I ate before I ended the session yesterday. Yeah. Okay. That's why we have food in this place, right? We can, uh, keep in the board. Oh, the cop just blew up. People are crouching down or something, you know. Yeah. Yep. Go ahead and dump it in our root chest here real quick. Alright, and let's pop some more heads here. Let's go back out here. Grab more loot. Be very careful not to touch the wires, though. Not with you. Top down. Scrap that. Scrap that. Scrap that. Scrap that. Okay. Drop off what we got. Oops, not the bullet. In that back. Please. Okay. Okay, oh, lady. I'm gonna take care of you. Oh. The uh, magnet is prepared, so we will switch off to the normal pistol for a second here.
Come on, zombie. What you waiting for? Damn. Grab these last couple of bags. I get the last one. Oops, I shocked myself. I hate to see it. Kind of late for the Doing pretty good. I think we can get rid of the uh, birds up here. Dead. I'm good. I'm not the wings count as hitboxes for the birds. You know? I need to do a little more now. Alright, zombies. There you go. Use the bullet for your brain. Die. Hours left in the board night. more loot. Once again. I forgot to drop off the loot I already had. There. I know. That. Shove all this in here. So much help, especially when they're irradiated. Two more hours of the board night. Come on, 
boy. Come at me. got our demolishers earlier today, huh? We were like kind of tight towards the end of the horde night, but we decided to come like right at the beginning, huh? Stop them from regenerating. It feels like you have them like happen in the head a couple of times. Hey bud. Can't do that after you go. Come on now. Down. Come on, bird. Where you at? Why is that How dare you? Alright. Gotta repair it. Reload. Alright, let's take the M60 out. Pop some heads. Yep. Reload that. Tap him in the head. Alright, let's loot a little bit out here because the bag is starting to build up. Almost had a hollow. Get back out. Let's fill up the storage chest again. Yep. I don't see a demolisher. Let's go ahead and spray him down again. Another horde night with barely any issues. I'll just see it. Back up for these guys here now. Right, we gotta finish off the zombies and we can work on repairing and seeing what damage they dealt today. Alright, 
Easy. Another one's coming up. Let's see if we cap her. Alright. Go ahead and store everything that we had here. Let's take out our cement, steel, that, that. I think that's all that I need right now. Oh, hey, another one. Go ahead and just refuel this, turn it off. We don't need it anymore. They're not running and sprinting at us in mass, right? Alright, so let's hop out of here. Go ahead and close this. Take what we have. Let's go ahead and clear the area outside, make sure there's no zombies lingering around. We don't want that after all. Pretty secure and clear. How about the back? That's also pretty good looking. All right, so let's take a look. A little bit of damage there. I'm not sure if that was from last night or tonight. But go around the perimeter here once. Kind of see if there's any. Corner got a little bit of a beating. After that. Some were there, but I think that might have just been because they uh, got stuck there while trying to get to the entrance. All right, the entrance way is a little bit damaged, mostly untouched though. Love to see that. The floor, I think we have a little bit of damage from the cops exploding or releasing their uh, bile, but that's fine. Also, when I was shooting down to hit their heads, probably bullet penetration there did a little bit of damage expected. As for the roof, a little bit of damage. Again, probably from the cops. Not a whole hell of a lot. Perfect. All right, now the main bit of damage that we're going to be seeing. How much steel do I have left? Quite a bit. Damage from the side. So, so the zombies come in here and they start attacking the walls for some reason because they're idiots. No. Ask them, not me. The right wall took the brunt of the damage, it looks like. The left wall here seems mostly untouched. And then the final little layer here. Bottom, gotta make sure we get this. Perfect, all right. Then the other side. There, there, there. All right, and that is everything repaired. So let's go here, close that. Make sure everything here is good as well. Perfect, okay. So let's go ahead and start scrapping everything we can. First of all, take everything that I can here. Let's go ahead and use the um, various books that I got. Let's go ahead and scrap these arrows, the brass here, that brass there. I already scrapped all the trophies, it looks like. Excellent. Let's go ahead and scrap military gloves. That full now, so all right, so let's go up here, see what damage the birds caused. We have Upgraded all this to cement around here, so it should just be cement that we have to fix up right here. Okay, we just need a little uh, steel, which we should be able to get from there. We do that, and then just scrap that bottom out of there. Now I actually have the iron to upgrade that. Perfect. All right. The next place we need to check out is, of course, down here because. For some reason, they like to damage these corner blocks, which they don't actually have direct access to. Nevertheless, they seem to hit them for some reason. I guess the cop acid would seep through. Only thing I can think of here that would be causing this damage. Other than that, the cement blocks on these sides look good. Now we just gotta check the electric fence posts because I think they take durability damage when they damage enemies. Have to repair those quick. We'll check that one. That's good. A little bit of that. Okay. That side's good now. Okay. 
good. These ones are good. The last one there. Can't repair it. It's got to be good. All right. Excellent. Did a real bang up job there, I think. Did a little bit of damage for some reason. That's it. That and that. That one. Hmm. Maybe the birds are trying to attack this. I want to check in here as well. A little bit of damage there, but that's fine. All right. Went back down in here. Open this bad boy up. Now let's go ahead and eat some more of this pork, I think. Increase my hunger and such. All right, so it only took us about two hours this time to wrap up killing the zombies and repairing stuff, so not bad. Go ahead and just take all the scrap metal and such that I can. I am going to leave the cement, the steel, and this stuff in here to just repair this particular structure should the need arise again. In the event that, you know, we come into here We need stuff to repair for like Horde Knight. I don't have to prepare it again. We'll always have a reserve in there. All right. Next, go across here, and we'll just start sorting through our loot and all that stuff, making sure that the uh, furnaces are not burning out like that. As you can see, I've kind of run out of iron and steel but i made another uh, furnace for cement so we're running really low on that so go ahead and store everything there store everything there sell those apps all right let's go to the medical supplies because that's where most of the stuff i can drop off comes from go Bullets are definitely one thing we can just get rid of because those are taking up a lot of space. All the pistol rounds, all the magnum rounds, there we go. And of course the shotgun slugs. Actually go ahead and unload the shotgun slugs and load in the powder ammo. There we go. I'm just gonna do that. Then in our and food chest, we'll throw that. We got the beer counts as a medical supply. Go ahead and split up the brass that we have there. Do that. That in there. We're going strong. Let's throw this iron right here for now. Also, I made a new chest for uh, play and rock. And as you can see, the clay is completely full. So, good times. And then let's also go ahead and store all the guns that we do not need. Pistol, rifle, little bit. Uh, go. Heck yeah. All right. Now then, let's go get the rest of the loot from... We didn't seem to get anything too good today. I think last time... We actually got some, like, thematics that we didn't have before, so that was nice. This time around, not so lucky. Life. All right, let's start the deconstruction of that and that. Like everything else, can't really be scrapped too easily. There, perfect. All right, another successful Horde Knight. You'll love to see it. God dang, I do. All right. So yeah, again, we didn't get too much that was impressive or anything. Um, all we really got was some more brass, which helps us out. For everything there. And, and. Also, I noticed when I was getting stuff from here, I actually have not very many antibiotics. I thought I had more. 
But apparently I was wrong? I don't know. Weird. Anyway, um... Cool parts. I'm gonna sell these. Keep machine gun. Keep the rifle parts. Punch hammer parts. Okay. Then stuff to sell. I'm gonna sell these and those and that. And the canned food. All that goes here. And then the food stuffs. Or crap, I stored all my stuff. Okay. Well, what happens? Alright, so we need to eat a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and just eat this tuna gravy toast. Because it gives 90 food. That'll definitely top us off. And then let's go ahead and I'm just gonna drink this one water that's by itself. Drink some more normal waters to get our thirst all the way up. And I can throw these into here. That's a uh, 9 millimeter I can put there. How's this looking? Going perfect. Yeah. Right, so let's go ahead and take this concrete out. And then I need all the stone that I have to spare. And the sand. I, I have a little bit of... Nope. Concrete in there. All right. So let's go ahead and make the cement mix. We can make 2018, so that's 1009 in each one of these. That way we don't have to wait the whole, I guess, hour it would take for that, huh? Okay, so we got plenty of concrete mix here. I'm just gonna throw it in here. We can use it later. I'm not gonna be building stuff today. Yeah, so. Yeah, as you can see, I had spent a a lot of time mining uh, and all this soil just basically came from uh, the front lawn here but i did get like i said some stone and i actually had i think half this chest uh of the stone resources filled up originally but between making cobblestones and between making them into uh, cement and making it into concrete you just go through so much stone it is insane uh, there's not really much i can do there but we did get a, a good bunch of levels from it. As you can see, we are definitely leveled up. Like I said, I maxed out Fortitude, maxed out Machine Gunner, maxed out Healing Factor, which is great. So now critical injuries like broken legs or arms heal twice as fast. Beautiful stuff. Didn't spend anything else in here. And I just went immediately over to Strength where I can spend points into maxing that out. Once we get that maxed, we can then max out our Shotgun, which, uh, Leg shots will cripple opponents. Hummel Pete, which uh, landing three successive hits, uh, does 100% extra damage. Although I think everything pretty much gets killed in one or two hits now, so whatever. Especially after we level it up, do even more damage. But uh, you can see the different stats there. And then we already have Minor 69 or Mother Load maxed, so that's all we really need here. So. Once we get these two, so we basically need one, two, three more skill points to max out what we want to do in strength. We could get Sexual Tyrannosaurus leveled up after that, which would reduce the, the stamina usage for melee and dual usage and power attacks and also give me killing blow stamina, which wouldn't be a bad thing to get. Under Agility, we have everything we want leveled up except for Gunslinger, but that does require 10 Agility, and we're using the Shotgun more than the Pistol. Uh, but, yeah, so... I think we have things where we want them right now, at least. So, go ahead and do this. Start up some brass, and I'm just gonna turn this off now. How about this thing? Now, I might as well turn this off, too. Because... I could leave this running, this furnace here, but at this point, not much. I already have a lot of clay prepared, right? And if I'm not getting iron uh, going in here, at this point it's just a way here. I could make brass casings, but if I did that, then, you know. Well, let's go ahead and just grab our tools. We're going to, of course, get our auger, chainsaw, then, honestly, that's, that's all we really need. We don't need to carry around our knife because we rarely go about getting meat anymore. Uh, we've been pretty good on it so far. Um, 
We don't really need our bow because we've basically shown, unless we're like swarmed by a bunch of people, we don't really need stealth. You know, we just don't. Um, and having anything else is just kind of pointless. So I'm also going to go ahead and just uh, go through and scrap some stuff. First of all, like this tactical rifle, the auger, and the chainsaw, um, this AK. All right. Let's see. So I could make some drone modifications here. And if we look at the modifications, it can only hold two right now. The only ones that I would think about getting would probably be, like, the robotic drone medic mod so it could heal me, and morale booster, which would increase my stamina regeneration while I'm near it. Because armor plating, it would increase, reduces damage and dignity, but does that really matter? I don't know, because it's not going to be fighting, right? But anyway, let's get steel, polymer, electric, mechanical, and cloth. Okay. Polymer, steel, electrical, mechanical, and cloth. Get everything. Drone. Craft the medic mod and craft the morale booster. It'll take about two minutes, and that's fine. Go ahead and store all this stuff back in. And throw. You know what? Let me let me let me see. Well, what do we have for parts right now? We have machine gun parts, which will allow us to make the M60 and the tactical rifle, which we've already had level six. We don't need these anymore. Shotgun parts. The shotgun's maxed out. That's fine. We can save the robotic parts. Um, pistols. Except for the, uh, the Desert Vulture, our pistols are basically maxed out. But the question right now is, do we want a Desert Eagle? How's it going? Welcome to the chat, man. And then what other stuff we got? We have motor tool parts, which ours are maxed out now. The rifle parts... We could make a better sniper, so I'll save those for right now. Everything else... Think, yeah, military armor parts we don't need. Go ahead and sort that. There we go. So this stuff we can sell whenever we... back in trader again here. Right. Oh, and also, the uh, fire crackling glitch that was occurring on the chemistry station from last time is done, so that... So how are we looking here? Good. Good, all right. So I think today, since we have, you know, four days until the horde comes, we might try to continue going around to uh, military bases or bases that have weapons because, like I said, we need to find... Uh, what is it under? Urban combat? No. It's a uh, sniper? Yeah, the sniper has this uh, AP762 ammunition, which is what I would like to get um, to have. So that would be great. Also, headshots, having a chance to stun and dismember is just great too. So we need to find these sniper magazines. And also, having this urban combat one wouldn't be bad either, uh, just so we can get the silencer has no damage penalty whenever we get that. And there's plenty of other stuff that we, we have need of skill books for, so... Once we can get all that, I think we'll be in business. So let's go ahead and attach the drone mods here. And then we'll go ahead and do this so that the cement is producing as much as it can. And then let's go ahead and grab all of our shotgun shells. Not all of them, but just an amount, you know. All right. Now that we are armed and ready to go, Head on out. Okay. Of course, we'll get our truck from here. Make sure to. Oop. I guess I pushed it forward a little bit there accidentally. Alright, let's rock. Oh, we got some zombies here. There we go. Might as well take out these guys. A little bit of experience, you know.
If they wander around, they might cause some damage. But... We're here. Blast. Got him. Alright, I think that's all the zombies out. Making their way around my area here. Perfect. Also, one thing that I did forget to mention that I did while off stream was over here. I, I also made that entire line there. I planted some more trees. The ones in the middle are taller because I did the middle ones first and I kind of expanded on both sides. Right now we have five rows. And I actually went through each row and punched all the grass out of the way. So now it's a completely bare, barren strip of land. Yeah. But forever. But I needed wood. So wood is something that we always need to make frames with. And upgrade the frames and then all that. It's quite a bit. I'm sure I like I could just go ahead and make stuff out of cement or steel at this point. Since that's what we're upgrading stuff to anyway, but we don't get as much experience. And I like experience. All right, so let's hit up the trader first here, uh, just to see if he has any new trades. That's what I want to see. And then we can go to whatever this building over there is to the quest. Else we look around. And actually, before we go to that quest, the police station should be... Oh, hold on, let me get some tokens. Oh, hold on. Let me also grab these. Look. Like, all these, I forgot about that. Because he wouldn't buy everything. It should have been three days, so I think. I think we can Thank God, a customer. trade him. I thought you might be or not trade him. I think we can go to the police station and sell him some more stuff. There we go. Take all of it. There you go, sir. Alright. Farman's Almanac, I know that one. Shotgun Messiah 3, I know that one. Military vest is worthless. Pom -pom -bow, don't need that. All right. Anything else here that I want to get my hands on? He keeps selling just like raw AP ammo, but I want like the casings. Come on, man. What are you doing? Uh, let's see. Lockpicks and wrenches, candles, animal fat. Yeah. Doesn't look like he has anything that I uh, particularly want other than this brass. I'll that brass is always hard to come by, so gratitude. And go ahead and take that, friend. and then let's store this stuff back into the car. Go. Okay, let's go check out the police station first, because it should be three days since the last time we checked it. If there's nothing there, then there's nothing. Speaking of, actually, there's also a military base over that way that we have not checked out recently either. At least the last three days since I've been. Oh my god, I'm just missing all my shots. What the heck is going on? Let me just reload and take a second here. Reload. Yep. Got it. Okay. See, most of them cleared out of here. Huh? They actually just decided to come straight out of there, huh? Works for me. Alright, let's just search the desks and cabinets here quick. So you can have schematics in them. Okay. Come down. And what about the wall save? I already know this stuff, but I'll take it anyway. What about here? Oh yeah. Everything should be resupplied now, excellent. 
military vest. I already have that, but I'll take it anyway. Right, I do have one right now. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and scrap that. Scrap that too. Kind of break stuff down into basic components. So we can go here. Check out all this stuff. Which we got. I don't think anything new. Fortunate. I'll just learn all the schematics anyway. Yep, didn't really get anything new here. Too bad. We could scrap this car battery, because we don't have a use for it quite yet. I'll hold off on that. Back to the car, real quick. Great, and we'll just throw this stuff into here. I'll have hazard lack. Actually, let's get the stuff that I want to sell, and I'll put it up higher. All the stuff I want to sell will be at the top. And that way, I know that I want to sell it. Back and sell it. Okay. All right. Now, let's go take a look at the military structure. That was back this way. Right over there. Real quick, we loop that one. We can continue on to the other places. It's only my speculation that the, you know, military bases would have the sniper books, stuff like that that we want. It could be completely off base. Maybe they're at savage countries or something, where uh, they have the outdoors hunting people. I don't know. I figured it'd be a safe bet. Assume. Okay. Get there, lady. That should cause some zombies to come running. Another erratic movements, man. I think I heard a zombie from up. No? Hearing things? Yep. Those boys sure take a lot of bullets to kill. Hop up here. Oh man, did they destroy one? They must have destroyed. Yeah, they did. Okay. Well, that's fine. I can make a couple of frames here. I'll make five just for good measure. Here. This. Maybe it was me shooting down towards. Let's. Come on, come on, munition box, let's go. We got everything, let's go. Who else? Come on. <laughs> Easy. Wreck nerds, okay. Ooh, we actually got a better drone out of that. So that's handy, I guess. Go ahead and scrap the stuff we do not need. Use the books that we want. Okay, I guess we can just modify the drone and put the new stuff on here. There we go. Cool. Pop those around. Love to see it. All right. Go ahead and drop down here. Real quick. That stuff. Already search the truck. All right. Go ahead and store stuff. Um, scrap the drone. For the ammunition, store this. Sell the polymer string, the small motor, steel club materials, the silver ingots, of course. Um, all the robotic parts, rocket launcher parts, on parts. I'll probably sell this because I don't need that. 
Don't need another bipod mod. I got plenty of them. Don't need the steel armor. I don't need those either. Anything else? I don't need the beaker. I scrap that. I can't scrap that. Hell yeah. All right. So I'll go ahead and just take all of these that I'm going to sell. Perfect. Right, let's go back to the trader, sell this stuff, and then head on to the next area. And compared to uh, the last time we were using a shotgun on the uh, skyscraper tower, you can definitely tell how leveling up the shotgun and increasing its quality makes it better because it fires so much quicker now and I can reload it so much faster. It, it's just beautiful. Um, yeah, it's really cool. Let's stop here real quick. Go ahead and sell this stuff. Take your time. What's up, man? Well, Only about one of these items, man. Fine. How dare you? Okay. Thank you, survivor. Check back soon. Get new merchandise. So all of that really didn't net me too much. Uh, it, it just got me two thousand uh, tokens. But you know what? Two thousand is an okay number. It's not bad. All right. So if we go north here, you'll remember that we have a military kind of fort thing. There we can go to the top of it and we'll get some, uh, top of the tower. And we'll get a little bit. Looks like our quest objective is that house over there. That's really sketchy looking. But I think we should be able to wrap up both this military tent and that house before night falls. Let's not jinx ourselves though, so knock on wood. I think we should be Given how quickly we've been clearing stuff out recently with the shotgun, I think we should be pretty okay. Let's avoid that landmine with the trar. I'm not sure what damage a landmine would drop. So. Always with the dogs, man. Avoid landmines as usual. And we tap some bitches in the head. Reload. You dead? You're not dead. Nine for that bird up there. Yep. They're all dead. This cabinet, nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, ooh, a silencer mod. Hell yeah, I'll take that. I hear a zombie hissing somewhere, but where were they at? Maybe they blew up on the landmine. Possibly. Alright. Freaking stiff box. Nothing. Other trunk mod. Nothing. Gun box. Nothing. I will go ahead and use this. Toss out the corn. Go ahead and scrap that. Oh, beautiful. Alright. Buddy? Oh. Alright. Oh, we can also search this generator. A little iron. All right. Oh, hold up. A little lady wants to join us here. Okay. Now then, let's do everything here. Like last time, we'll maneuver some stuff around quick for the stuff we want to sell and keep. There we go. Let's rock. All right. 
if this was a normal place, this uh, house, if it was a military place or something, I would consider going through it one time and then activating this so we get double the loot. But since we're here, we don't really have much use to do that. Buddy. Powering up. All systems go. Follow me. Rock. Enemy, prepare for conflict. Damn, give her the heads up. Oh. I think I almost shot the drone. You good, drummy? Hey, lady. This place probably doesn't have very high value loot. Let's try to avoid looting everything like a madman. Sorry, drone, I keep having to avoid shooting you. Anything up there? Yep. So it looks like we just have to clear the area. We don't have to worry about anything else. Oh, that'll make things easier. We don't have to find a loot box or anything. Take a second reload quick. Okay. Hey, Drone Chan, you good? Your drone ass. There she is. Do you? What do you mean? I knew it. Oh, you're dead. Nice. Take it. To a veranda, of course. Out of here, we'll take that. Yep. Or else, hiding. Do that, but I think that's where else we can get up later. <laughs> yep, she's dead. Jump across here. I don't know what any of this means that she's talking about. Drone Chan? Oh, there you are. She always tries to stay behind me, so I guess that's nice. Through here. Block, so we're gonna go this way. I don't need that. No, we got time for that. Hmm. Oof. Not good. One thing that's bad about the shotgun is that, uh, Destroy stuff around it. Things I destroy, things that could potentially be good loot. Put loot all the bookshelves here. 
sure we get them all and don't miss anything. Up here, though. Double bag, which had nothing in it. One bookshelf here. First, this, cap. Good here. Heck. Before we progress, let's go ahead and uh, do that. Drink this yucca juice. And that looks good. All right. So, isn't the mech there? Okay. Well, I guess we're just going down. There's a actually wood crate up there. That's something I can get, though, at least very easily. Go hidden stash. Oh my god, we got grandpa's learning elixir. Hell yeah. I will take that. Okay. Continue downward. Deal with that. Ladder here. Down to here. Here's someone. I think Drone Chan might be a bit stuck. I knew it was gonna be there too. I don't know why it like surprised me. Like I saw him, I was like, oh okay. And I was like, ugh. Oh. Okay, let's keep going. I think if I just get up on this thing here, I can skirt around here to get this new chest. Yep. Let's see it. All right, we'll be it. Bow and with that. All right, come on, John Chan. Let's go. Thank God I dismembered her arm and caused her to fling black. Or else I could have uh, hurt myself there. I'm playing Doom with the tight corners here. I'm funny. Do 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 do. Get back up from. Oh, uh -huh. and also value here, so let's get into the shop. Go ahead and scrap this stuff that I don't need. Oops, not, not escape. There we go. Yep. ZH1. There's only a couple of zombies left. A couple of zombies, I mean, there's a whole hell of a lot of them in here. Reload while we have a second. Alright, we're done. Real quick. Loot everything. Let's hopefully get back to the trader before they close. We have two hours to do so. Shouldn't be too big of a problem. 
He's got to find the main loot stash here. That's the way out. Could be a lot like that. Where is the loot? Question. Maybe it is up the stairs there? Hmm. Oh yeah, it's in here. Okay, cool. Go ahead and... I don't know why I pulled out the auger for this. everything except for this hardened chest, which we'll break into, as usual. Because <clears throat> I no longer carry lockpicks with me anyway. Alright. Nice. What all did we get? We got another treasure map. Anything else of value other than ammunition? I guess we got a bunch of lockpicks. I'm just gonna scrap the lockpicks. Okay. Everything, yeah. Perfect, let's get out of here. I knew we could clear it very quickly. Very nice. I've got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> oh, hold on. Wait, did Drone Shan get in the car? If so, that's cool. I'm gonna assume she did since... Oh no, she's right there. Oh my god! You can keep pace with the truck, that's, that's amazing. Alright, come on Drone Shan, let's go! Although oh, she might be a little bit slower. I love this drone. Maybe it's the, you know, isolationist nature zombie survivor, but real comfort to have, you know, just hearing something talk. Whereas usually, hear nothing. Not gonna worry about anything we have in the truck right now. We just need to get in here and trade the guy for a new quest. You did it. Uh, you give me it. the common boat. I can sell it for more. Um, uh, steel shaped helper, melee crafting, ammo, jar parts. Uh, give me the steel. What do you got for jobs? Um, give me. Would you kindly help? Oh. Great. I look forward yep. to seeing you again. Alright, now that we have a little bit of time, I okay, can't sell those. Hold on. Unsell that. All of that. Sell these. Crossbow. Nothing else that I want. I guess I can see if I can sell these bandages since I have so many bandages right now. It, it's actually insane how many I have. Alright, I think we're good. Actually, I can sell this bandolier mod. Perfect. Take okay. Shop in here. Come again. Thanks, bud. All right. Let's go ahead and just toss everything in here now. Ah, I forgot to sell the steroids. It's fine. All right. Looking good. Let's go ahead and use some of our truck meat. We're a little hungry, it looks like. Alright, 
Jung drone drone chan. Let's go to our next objective area. You know what? Actually, hold up. It might be wise of me to... I'm gonna just remove some of these waypoints that I don't really need. Things that are just, like, unnecessary. Like, ooh, electric. Like, whatever. Get out of here. Gas. I don't need gas. Electric ruin, look at that. Gas, salvage, salvage, tops, pills, gas, gas. Get an electric, get out of here. Pills and food, get out of here. Keep the books, that could come in handy. But I've just got so many, like, I think I've memorized the radiation stuff. I'll get rid of those too. All right. Now everything that's remaining on the map is basically guns, uh, books, traders, stuff like that. Things that are important that uh, I actually use. Excellent. Now if I see a waypoint nearby, I can be like, oh, let's go ahead and head up. I think... As we approach this town, did they pick up that zombie I just ran over? Because if so, Rome Chan, that is definitely what happened. There should be that uh, targeting range somewhere around here in this city. We can hit that up once again. Is it there? I think it's right there. Yes, it is. All right. So we'll take this place out. Okay. All right, breach and clear. Let's go. Also, we get some free gas, so that's always nice as well. Cabinet. Bookcase here, which we can just run both of those real quick. We're leveled up to three. Kill points, that is. Alright, let's go ahead and max out strength. Anything else we get is now going to be put into actual useful things. So, good to see. Alright, let's go ahead and drop that, scrap that, scrap that. Scrap that. Okay. Okay. Took a little bit of damage there, but that's fine. I'll use this med kit. I could have walked back, but I didn't really feel like doing that. That's why I took so much damage from there. Okay. Alright, what we got? Let's scrap that. Scrap that drone. Oh, I can't because I scrapping too many things right now. I think after that, that's everything up on this front side here. Go ahead and go to the targeting range now. was not having it today. Where'd you come from, sir? You must have came from outside. Something. Weird. What did I pick up I was going to scrap? Oh, this other drone, right. I wonder if you could have multiple drones. I feel like you could. I don't have them stopping you from doing it. Alright. Go in here. Incoming enemy. Prepare for conflict. Yep. We're gonna go ahead and run back through here. So we can kind of bottleneck them. Crap. 
Didn't realize all the ammo there. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, kite them around in a little bit of a circle here. Okay. I knew I heard one coming, so let's go ahead and avoid that. We'll reload while we head this way. And having different heights kind of throws me off at times. Especially when it comes to like a shooting one of the ladies. And shooting like the guys in the hoodies. Yep. Okay, that's everyone. Double tap her. We good? I think we're good. Alright. Alright, excellent. Go ahead and grab the uh, fuel here. Oh, damn, I, I picked that improvement. The menu popped up. Okay. My senses have picked up something. Have we? What? Where's that? Go ahead and jump up. Heard some smacking. All right, anyway, burn those. Anything to scrap? I wish I could just scrap the parts into like steel. That'd be so helpful. Alas, I cannot. All right, let's go ahead and move the car up. Oh, going down antibiotics there. Too many shotgun shells. Okay. Um, and let's go ahead and eat once again. Apparently we're hungry. Let's eat this ration. Maybe we'll eat the cat food too. Why not? There we go. Alright, let's head bread. Shotgun in a bookstore up here. We can hit those up, I think. Isn't that the bookstore we usually come to when we come up this way? So that's good. We can definitely hit this one up. No point in not doing so. Refuel it. Refuel it again. Lock the horn. Even though it comes because of that. Nice that they did, but. I don't think they're going to. I've got a bad feeling about this. You were right to have a bad feeling, Drone Chan. There's quite a couple of people coming at me. Cop over there. Cop better not have destroyed anything important in there. God. I heard the tree fall and I thought it was like some kind of crazy zombie coming from behind. A bird? You want to die, please? Jeez. All this damage. Pretty sure they destroyed some bookshelves here. Now we need to have a quest here before we can freaking get it restored. So annoying. Even more annoying when you consider the fact that I have myself accidentally destroyed books in here before with the shotgun. Gotta be careful not to hit a bookshelf. I think I might have hit that one. I don't know if there's anything there, but. Dippy dippy. You can do this a lot more carefully, but at the same time, because we only have like four days for the next horde and stuff, it gets to the point Incoming where enemies, prepare for conflict. sometimes you just gotta rush in and take the hits.
let's go over here. Gotta reload the cop anyway. Well, that sucks. Ah, oh, fuck, I took that book out. You done? That. Let's not let him explode. Should be some valuables in here. Air quotes around valuables. Two. I've got a bad feeling about this. open right, yep, okay. I was having an escape route. Yep. Okay. Let's just get back here real quick. We can use all this stuff. Should be something in here. Yep. Okay. Let's go ahead and just read all this. Wrap what we can. Where do you come from, bud? Yeah, one more book here. Ooh. Although it's a knuckle book. Back of the truck. Put some gear here, real quick, before we do anything else. Um, do have these bandages. Let's use these to fix up our injury here. And then I think I want to use this die. There we go. Actually, where's the where did the pair go? There it is. Use the pairs. Get a little of food here. Okay, so there should be another shotgun messiah. That's up the street here, yeah. Incoming enemies. Prepare for conflict. Take this guy out first. Not that he's a huge threat, but he could. Come back to bite us in the ankle. Right here. I'm gonna grab another stack of shotgun shells from the Jeep, though. There we go. We'll be going through them pretty quickly, so. Hmm? No one here. Oh, wait, I remember this one. Yep, I do. Everyone's upstairs in it. Okay. I'm just gonna scrap that battery. He's outside to the house. Look at that backpack. Take it. Next one.
There's really no zombies here, huh? Grass door handle there. Are they all on the roof? Oh my god, I remember now. They're all on the roof. Right, it was only this little box here that uh, actually had anything of value in it. Right. That's why this place sucked. So let's go ahead and just leave. Barely even worth our time of going in there and taking a little bit of damage. So the skyscraper we're dealing with today appears to be over here. Oh, it's the crack of book. God, this one, really? Doing this? So, was this a fetch and clear? Yeah, it's a fetch and clear. Uh, okay. Well, before we get too far ahead of ourselves. I got a bad feeling about me. There you do. from outside the zone, really kind of annoying, being on it. Run in here quick. Yep. Force clear. Die. loop these first before we go to the basement of this area. Okay. Master, you're not alone. Okay, pop's dead. Really try not to uh, get the dog up here before I have to reload. You hear another dog ghost with some distance. I can see everything coming at me. There's a fucking dog. Get some more distance here. That's Drone Chan, you're a little bit in the way, if I'm being honest. Okay. <clears throat> the runners are all dead.
Okay. It's okay, Drone Chan. It's okay. I, I didn't shoot that guy. I just want to let y'all know that one guy, I did not shoot the last one. That died. Fuck, I'm out of ammo, though. Time to go to melee. Yep. Okay. Well, we need to eat. So let's go ahead and eat quick. Two. Three. Lady Faka. Ow. Asshole. Okay. Go ahead and head down here to collect our loot. You know, in hindsight, I could have cleared this twice, couldn't I? Hmm. Unfortunate. Anyway. Wait. Oh, hey. I just barely saw her out of the corner of my eye, and I was like, that I? Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Where? You sure? What is going on with my body? Why am I so hungry? Aw, oh, sniper buff, but badly. There. Okay. Maybe because of all the healing? I'm gonna have to eat all this meat. Okay. All the meat has been eaten. And let's go grab the last bit of loot in here. Try to find the stash quickly. Oh, I didn't realize there was two. Two grandpas. To drill this one. Ew. All right. What we get? Learn how to make herbal antibiotics. Okay. Iron knuckles. Okay. Grab those. Grab that. Blade Trap Bundle. Let's go ahead and open that up. Scrap all that. I sure it's not fun. Okay. That's everything here. My senses have picked up something. Did you fall, sir? Is that what happened to you? You just fell down the stairs? Okay. Now we need to get the packing. If I remember correctly, it should be on one of the upper floors on top of the table. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw all this in here. This is going to be a three-part plan right here to, to clear the skyscraper. First... Kill the enemies. Oh, 
Klop. Oh my god. I don't know why my aim was that bad right there, but Jesus Christ. Oh. I don't know where the fuck that bird came from, but okay. Alright. This floor is always kind of... Ooh. So, go ahead and eat that. Go ahead and eat that. I'm gonna do a real quick sweep of the area here. Just take from the desks and the cabinets. Care too much about anything else in here. Okay. All right. Scrap, learn. I can't scrap that stuff right now, but that's fine. So the. Zombies. Should be everyone here. I'm gonna go ahead and use. Um, maybe I'll not use a med kit. Drone Chan? Drone Chan? Did she die? Nope, there she is. What are you doing, Drone Chan? Can you be able to tell how much health you have? Chance? To my allies. Great to see you, Master. You only me. Ready for duty. All right. So, we've gotten the supplies. Prepare for conflict. Hmm. I don't think we any more enemies here, man. All right. So we're gonna do. At least try to do. Something interesting here to finish the quest. Got a zombie here, hold on. Okay. Alright, let's do this. I hope this works.
streamer. Yep. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, hey. I didn't even know this little place here existed. Ooh. I wish it was wood and not metal or concrete, I guess. Knock it off, lady. I guess she summoned something. Yep. Number of somethings. Roshan, you gotta not get in my way. I might hurt you. And she's out of here. Okay. Well. I'm not sure how this is gonna work anymore. I wasn't expecting as much resistance as I'm getting here. Seriously, something feels wrong with my, like, character right now. He's using up quite a bit of stamina. Or not stamina, of, of food. I wonder, could it be that the drone's stamina regen affects your, um, hunger? It seems weird, right? But what normally affects your hunger, right? Anyway, I'm curious. My senses have picked up something. You think about it, if she is like increasing my stamina regen, and stamina regen is what affects whether or not. God damn. Why are there so many right now? Like, this is weird. Is it because the screamer showed up once and, like, went, Argh. now everyone's freaking out? Got some more zombies over there. Cool. Yes. What is happening? Was this maybe like a random wandering horde or something? Again. Yeah, same here, drone. Like, what the fuck is happening to my hunger? My question. Maybe it's because I'm doing what I'm doing that my hunger is getting out of control. I wonder if that could be why. My hunger has never gone down this path before. Oh, I do love an adventure. I'm, I'm gonna take her 
I can take these batons. I've gone through a bunch of calories recently. Actually, this isn't touching anything there, so I don't think this would support. I'm trying to bring the whole skyscraper down, is what I'm trying to do right now, in case anyone's curious, and I haven't said it yet. I think it would be quite cool to do. But man, if those, if those demo charges, like, work properly, where they don't just destroy doors, but they destroy, like, everything, it would be so cool. sudden hungry. Hold on. What influences hunger? What affects hunger drain? Let's see. I'm curious if there's like some other underlying factors here. Um, walking, running, building, mining, even simply existing depletes food and water. The more physical activity it takes, the faster it goes. Standing there depletes hunger slowly. Walking, Blah, mining does stuff more. Food security is always top their priorities. Um, it doesn't specifically say what, like, causes it exactly. Because I feel like I'm getting way too hungry here. Because I've been able to mine, like, for days straight without having to eat here, right? And now all of a sudden I'm hot? Why? Actually, real quick. Can you make a sky raper fall? Hmm. No exact articles for that, but fine. Hmm. Let's take out this window and let's go to the other side. I feel like if I cut like a big enough chunk away from like a corner, it should fall, right? <laughs>
If the zombies would stop coming from somewhere, they have to be spawning around me. Ridiculous and annoying of them, to be honest. I'll go back inside. I don't really mind if we fail this quest, I'm just curious if this can be done. I mean, either way, it doesn't seem very... It doesn't seem very cost-efficient. Some guys fell down. Beans. I think it, it can be done. I think the zombies are mad. <laughs> I'm trying to destroy their building. Oh, they're upset. happening? Why are there so many irradiated zombies coming from the sides? Can't get too far away or else it'll uh, reset as well, so that's bad. I need space too. Damn. Destroy that tree. <sighs> okay, so some stuff did start to collapse. So if I continue, a little more collapse. It's going. going. Get this block and back away. Oh, look at it go! Look at it go! Oh my god, it's beautiful. Oh my god. Yeah, baby, we just lost some structural integrity right there. Okay. Let's keep digging. Maybe I can make the zombies come to me if I do this. There's some more falling down. Ooh, there's a big chunk. I got an idea. Summoning them that quick? I'm trying to save my shotgun for when I need it. She's running towards me. She's obviously a summon of the shrieker. Another one right over there. Holy crap. Tapping her before she squeals. Seriously, lady? How many fucking bullets you gonna take?
They are very not happy about what I'm doing right now. Oh boy. Okay. Got two pillars at once. Yeah, there we go. Topple down. Now, it's not like this building is huge, right? Like, I can do this, but if we could do this to the, uh, what is it, the, the De Jong Tower, that one that's like really massive that we died on last time, I think it would be amazing. Well, I think I'm gonna start starving here. If I continue too much longer. Because so much has already fallen down just from this amount of work. I love it. I absolutely love it. If there was like some sort of like trigger mechanism somewhere that like there's one block that supports it all, that'd be really cool. Falling. Problems these damn interior walls. Stone sucks. If I was getting better resources, this would actually be kind of good. So the fact that I'm getting like six steel for all this gasoline and stuff, time that I'm wasting, kind of sucks. Blocks. Let's make them all fall at once, shall we? Okay. I'm gonna repair this now. I'm gonna go ahead and just eat the sham sandwich. I have to at this point. Didn't get dysentery, so that's good. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna take these two out. Oh my god, was that actually holding up a big chunk? No way. No way it was actually holding up that big of a chunk. Come on. That's messed up. Okay. In that case, maybe these are doing the same thing. There goes that wall. He just like all of a sudden got all over my face. Get the hell out of me. If you will. All 
All right, lady, listen. You can't keep coming around here, screaming your head off. All right, let's do this. Yeah, baby, look at it go! Oh my god, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Yes, yes! That's great. I love it. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and actually clear this place now, shall we? What? That's rude, first of all. Apparently I was not on a very stable platform there, huh? Okay, this should be that one floor that we've already been to. We already cleared that floor. This floor's the roof. Ugh. Run over here quick. Wait, dog, you're still alive? Oh my god. I don't know how. Apparently he was. Another fucking dog, okay. Y'all done? We good? Brained my arm. Like. All right, I gotta go around here. the dog come from? Where do I go from here? Uh-oh. Wait. Why, why did a zombie come out of there? What? Excuse you, sir? Yeah, that was the last zombie, I guess. Now let's go ahead and get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Okay. I don't really feel like uh, hitting that airdrop. Let's get out of town. We'll go back to the trader. Talk to him. At least we found out we, we can, in theory, bring an entire tower down. And it would barely take us a day. So, actually, speaking of traders, I'm going to stop by this one. Alright, so I need to get, first of all, fatigue meds. Then we need to take, I'm gonna use this meat that I have here. Then, do I have honey? No. 
I think it's down the back then. Get rid of all that. Okay, I'll take this, 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 that, 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 that. This is all the parts, essentially. We're gonna take all of the parts that we don't really need that we can sell. Okay, I think that looks good. Yes. Close the door. All right. Watch your back. Hello, sir. Pay no mind to that growling outside, sir. Just a dumb doggo. Okay. Now, do you have anything that I want? Oh, you got the Ranger's Guard to Archery Volume 2, which I don't know. Good. I'll take that. Um... I already know that schematic. You do sell some antibiotics. I could buy some. Pass on that for right now. Oh, uh, let's see. There. You do sell a bunch of food. Why don't I buy some of this? Because I think I'm about to starve, and that's not good. Okay. Forge steel too. Shit, man. I treat you that good and you don't even fucking tip me. Bro, calm yourself down. And the sprain on my arm is almost gone. Already. That's very nice. Okay. This vending machine. Okay. Later, haters! Alright, excellent. I got some more food. I don't know, I still don't know why my stamina was going down that quickly. But, that is weird. Is it not? being rapidly depleted. Hmm. Let's get to the trader, trade quests around. And uh, I guess continue doing what we're doing. The one thing about the uh, other skyscraper quest, the Yang, Yang, or whatever the name of that one is, that building, if I did destroy it without going up to get the loot, and if we got the loot, it would cause all the zombies up top where we died last time to uh, be triggered anyway. So it would not necessarily be a good well thing. Earned, Ooh, another five robotic drone. You know what? I'll take it. What else do you have for jobs? Okay. Uh, let's, I don't want another skyscraper one right now, man. What else you got? Okay, fine. We'll do a skyscraper. You don't have anything different, do you? I don't think you would. Considering we just traded, but... Never hurts to look. Maybe... 79 is when his stuff refreshes, huh? Okay. Okay. If we ain't got what you're looking for, we can get it. Action. Actually, before we leave, Go home to get food because that's what we're missing. Why don't we clear this area? See if they might have any 
loot here. Sometimes I got lucky and found some stuff in this chest one time, right? I'll take lead. Lead is, lead is always good to have. Also, they have a nice chest here that could potentially have food, but nope, just food. That's fine. All right, we're definitely not doing the quest tonight or tomorrow. Uh, it'll definitely be after the next horde because it is so far away. And I'm actually pretty sure that's the De Young Tower that basically ruined us last time. Or right before Horde and I tapped. So, not ideal. Yeah, so this one is also a clear and retrieve supplies quest. Okay. We might do something a little bit different if we do that quest. I'm, I'm so used to seeing this place not be concrete, so like, I was like, what the hell is that? Okay. Let's go ahead and gas it up. Go ahead and take our, our loot. All right, and then we'll just hit that. Okay. Uh, is there anything I want to leave in here? Um, let's leave the med kits topped off. Pop that off there. Tokens can go there. Um, I think everything else I wanna keep. So. Alright. Go ahead and sell the rest of this garbage. We are officially out of stone. Kill. But what are you gonna do? It happens, you know. Okay. Um, that and that. Mods, I'm gonna put the silencer in here. I'm not gonna equip it because right now you can't put in a, a silencer on a shotgun. So doing so right now would Probably not helping too much. Also, question, did I get the stealth skills? I did, okay. In hindsight, since I'm no longer being stealthy about uh, clearing stuff, I probably should not have gotten the stealth skills when I did the skill reset, but you know, shit happens. Get some, you lose some, All right, but we need to eat. So we'll go ahead and use the tuna fish gravy toast. And store that in there. Put this lead battery there. Put the cell, throw those in there. We have a bunch of gun parts, not the concrete, come on. There we go. All right. Play is now full, so I'm just gonna throw it on the ground. I'm gonna throw this cloth on the ground as well, I think. All right. Grab all of the cement and concrete that we made. How much stone do I have? Not a lot. That's okay. Grab some sand. How much cement mix can I make right now? So half of that would be 1,045 roughly. So one, actually 147. 147, there we go. And that should be about half, yeah? Exactly half. Now we still have some sand and cement mix remaining. Um, all right, perfect. Oh man, that is rough. I have no idea why we shotgun. Hold on. Oh, wait, this is not a purple shotgun. I can't put that on. I'm limited to three mods here. I don't know why my Hunger was going down so crazily. Put our food here. We do have a max of 200, right? So let's just watch it for a second. 
What was it 177 when we opened the menu? It went down to 176. And we're not doing any movements, so that's whatever. But I, I, I honestly cannot believe that we would be burning through so much food just using the auger. If we weren't burning through that much, you know, mining. In fact, you need steel. Let's go ahead and I'm going to grab another stack of this. And I think I'll take the tuna fish gravy as well. So I can put that in the car. Okay. For that, take everything else. Okay, perfect. So, why don't we go ahead and test out this theory that using the auger does not take a bunch of um, resources, right? So, what I'll do is right now, we're at 175. Go ahead and start digging. See how long we can go without having to worry about food. At least go for a little while and consider how we want to go. I think we'll go until the fuel tank needs to be refilled. entire tank of gasoline and we went down no food none at all so what the hell why did we get so hungry while we were using the auger before I don't think we went through that much uh, refills, right? Let's go through another one. We'll just try it out. Because I know those blocks we were destroying before had 5,000 to 10,000 health, right? That is quite a bit of loot. Kind of these little things that we can do. Okay. okay, so there's basically two full tanks worth, right? Now, if we look, we went down one food. Okay. That was essentially three tankfuls, and we lost one food. One. Which means it's not using the auger, which made us hungry before. Hmm. 
curious. Let's go ahead and get the rest of our gasoline here. Refuel it. I think I'm actually gonna take this gas and put it into the other chest I've been making. Okay, so we've been using stamina while running here. Perhaps it is stamina regenerating that is causing us to get extra hungry, right? So we lost some, we're regenerating some stamina. Putting gasoline in here, by the way, just FYI. Go ahead and split this bad boy up, turn it back on. Okay, so if you look at our hunger now, Okay, it's gone down two. Now we could argue and say that um, part of it was due to the augering that we lost one point. So we'll ignore that. But in the time span it took us to dig all of that dirt, we only went down one, maybe one and a half. Okay. But just sprinting around and restoring our stamina, we lost this much. Hmm. Let's try this. Let's keep swinging with power swings until our stamina goes all the way down. Okay. The stamina's all the way down. And it's at 172 now. It just went down again. The hunger, or the food did. Yeah. I think that the issue that we were having was this fact that stamina was being spent. It wasn't the fact that we were destroying the building. It was the fact that we were um, spending time killing zombies. And that is what kind of drew us into the uh, death. Hunger. Death? The hunger hunger issues. So, I guess in the future we'll have to kind of keep an eye on for that. More grass. Not there. There. Wouldn't turn that on while we're... Okay, well... Wait, white? Huh? Why do we only have two boiled meat there? Did I only take a, a two stack? I thought I took ten. I didn't eat it, did I? What the hell? Oh, this is my mind. Weird. Anyway. Let's go ahead. I didn't even realize I had rocks down here, too. things here. Boop. Boop. Here we go. Now we got plenty of cement crafting. Beautiful. Love to see it. Okay. So while we're waiting for that stuff to kind of smelt, let's go ahead and go outside. And... We'll concrete this place up. Get some more experience, you know? This is basically what I've been doing while offline. Um, not streaming while playing seven days. Is I've just been mining, digging, repairing, upgrading, all that good jazz to make this place look nicer. You know? As you can see, the experience bar is steadily rising roughly every four that I upgrade. So, very good experience. Look, we've already got 26,000 experience, 27,000. Like, it's very good experience here. And actually, I'm curious. Learn an elixir. 
it takes acid and super corn. Okay, well, super corn might be a bit of a problem for us, but uh, I was thinking what we could do is I could take a sip of learning elixir and it would, you know, it could, I forget how much it does exactly. It doubles the uh, experience you get. It would, it helps out a lot. More than using it during a, uh, a horde night. Alright, two skill points. One more and we can max out strength. Should be almost done melting here. Yep, turn that off. Okay. We also used up quite a bit of our cement as well, so that's good. Oh man. Crazy shit. So come up here quick we can see a nice way out of the base so as you can see and as I mentioned the plan for the base is this whole chunk of land I want to make just completely covered with concrete also you can see all the trees that I planted there that's cool neat I think some of them might be ready to harvest as well good all of it's gonna be covered in concrete um, completely, with the exception of some little nodes that are going to be like that, which are uh, places we can get resources from, like that one over there is. I actually found some coal and iron down there. Actually, it is an iron one to begin with, but I found some coal a little bit further across the street. So, that was a good find. We can get some coal from there if we need to. Uh, but if we just kind of look around, there, there's more nodes kind of to the south here. Over that way, and that way. I know there's more nitrate there and there, at least, definitely, but once we get the entire area laid out and cemented, what I want to do then is run power lines um, all the way around it. And I want to make a wall, right? Kind of like, kind of like a, a castle wall. It doesn't need to be concrete, but it would be cool if it was. Maybe like a, Maybe like our building here is where it is. Partially concrete, and then the top is cobblestone, right? And then what I want to do is on like the the top towers of the wall, I want to put some spotlights pointing inward, so this entire area is like illuminated at night. And I can just kind of like flip a switch uh, somewhere in the base, so I can actually see stuff that's occurring nearby. I think that would be really cool to do. And then. Also, of course, I don't want it to be just walled off because I want the zombies to be able to get in if they spawn outside. So, I really put some like gates or like, arches, like uh, here. Put like a gate for the, the vehicle to come in and do the loopy loop, like a couple every so often. So it's not just like a complete wall, but there's like areas to come in at because you don't want to restrict the flow of the zombies too much so that they attack the wall, but just enough so that they uh, have time to get in. Cool. Also, I like that I can raise and lower this from this far away. That is crazy. But, uh, yeah. <sighs> well, that scraper didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it to go. I, I am considering doing another one. But just bringing a lot more food. But would it be worth it if we go to, like, the Dion Tower and we did it? It would definitely save us the risk of potentially having 
a bunch of zombies corner us and whatnot. Uh, but is it worth the time and effort, gasoline especially, that it would take to actually destroy the tower and bring it down? I'm trying to remember the, the, the layout of the Dion Tower. I know it has a staircase in one side and probably elevator shaft, just like the other one. Does it have a lobby? Yishong Tower. So... First floor. First floor, it looks like there, if I'm look, I'm looking at a screenshot now. Uh, it looks like it has like a central area that we have like five pillars to knock down. That would be easy to do. And then some other like pillory areas. Uh, looks like there's some rubble on the ground as well, which would be very easy to take out if we had to do so. Um, it could be possible. The building also is not... Maybe this is an old screenshot of looking at the thing now. Definitely looking at this screenshot, it is an older one, because I don't think it has the uh, stuff at the top or see in there. Okay. It might be cool to do. Oops. Throw it out there. So maybe we do load up a bunch of food in the truck, take it there. So, what do I need to make the, uh, I need cornmeal and cornbread to make this, huh? Okay. So, let's see. I need tuna and pears to make the tuna toast, which, okay, not too bad. I can make three of them. I have enough animal fat as well. I'm looking at other recipes that I can make, you know? Or you would tell me, like, what they did um, before I made them. Raw meat, potato, mushrooms, and fat. Okay, well, I have cornmeal here. Water, murky water, water. Um, okay. So, make this, I need two cornbread to one cornmeal. So if I do one, two, two cornbread, and then one cornmeal. Two, and then one. And I have two to spare, I think. How much is cornbread? I can't make cornbread? Oh, because I don't have Master Chef. Right, I forgot. Well, never mind. That's something I can't make. Um, what if I just take all of my food up here quick. Just to kind of see what I can cannot make. Do that. Okay. So let's see. Drinks, I can make that. I can make paint. Um, so we're gonna turn on the cob. Fish tacos. Huh? I guess I can make some fish tacos. <laughs> Vegetable stew is corn, potatoes, and mushrooms. Sham chowder is sham, potatoes, corn. Okay. I think I'll go ahead and make, make fish tacos quick. Just because that's very simple and easy to get up here. Uh, blueberry pie requires animal fat. Right, animal fat. I forgot about I have plenty of that in here. What else can I make now that I have animal fat included? I can make gumbo stew, which is actually really good. So, that. Shepherd's pie. Ooh. Getting hungry just thinking about all this food. Goddamn. Okay. Let's cook a gumbo stew. And let's cook a meat stew. And let's go ahead and make a jam chowder. I just want to see, like, the, the food values. 
I think once these are all done, I'll put them up here into this box as a reference for how much food they actually supply. Right? Um, yeah. Also, I don't like that my iron is not producing anything, right? Let's go ahead and do that. So the fact that iron is just stagnating right now is just not acceptable for me right now. What do I need to make? Beer? Is it a chemistry station? What do I need? Here's the chemistry station. Ah, because it's technically a medical thing. Right. Fish tacos are done. And they do 46 health. Not bad. Not bad at all. So that's done. Let's make a shepherd's pie next. How much that's gonna take a minute each to build? Oh, the sham chowder takes 46, so it's not that bad. Then I can make a steak and potato meal. Then I can make a veggie table stew. I think I have enough for all this, right? Yeah. Actually, I'm making a shepherd's pie. Just these two left. Okay, so that's all the canned goods, I think. Is there anything that I am missing that I could get right now? Cornbread. Hobo stew is rotting flesh? That doesn't seem very good. Pumpkin bread requires cornmeal. Okay. Okay. I even got a hobo stew right here. Nice. What does spaghetti take? Pasta, beef rations, mushrooms. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, let's go ahead and make the steak and potato meal. I'll grab that. Go ahead and put this stuff here for references for how much help they do. Jumbo stew is actually amazing. Oh my god. I don't think it's a day now. Okay. Right, so let's go ahead and I'll I'll prepare some coffee, but I think or, uh... I can make red tea, but I don't know the recipe. Learn an elixir, acid, beer, and super corn. I know I'm growing some super corn upstairs, but I don't want to harvest it. Because if I harvest it and I don't get enough to remake it, it's pointless, right? Also, now that I am at 200 uh, food and water, it has gotten to the point where I absolutely need to actually have, like, better food than the, the boiled meat. Because eating a stack of the boiled meat, it is only going to heal, um, twenty five percent of my stuff. Right? Not bad. Fish tacos are 40, one, six, two, so it goes like this in terms of bad, better, better, better. Right? Good. Alright, red tea is chrysanthemums with I. Okay. Um why don't we make another chest? And I'm gonna go ahead and put this right here. And this will be my, like, chest for, you know, food materials, right? So I'll have, like, completed meals and, like, canned goods up in here. This one, I think I'll have be, um, water and stuff like that. Liquids, essentially, you know? Up. And then honey, we'll do that with. That and golden rod tea, I'll split there. Nice. Okay. Then water in here. That and bottles. 
empty bottles all dealt with that way. Excellent. Okay, now everything's kind of nicely divided up here. Although, let's grab the meat. I can put the purified water in here and do that with it. Okay. How are you looking, food? Okay, let's take here the food materials. I think all the canned food's done, so let's go ahead and put this stuff away now. We've got two more things. The sham shatter, which is 53, also increases fortitude. And this one is 104. That goes there. 40, 50, 60. I think that's the order now. Just in terms of food quality, not like everything else, right? But of course, like uh, uh, the, the sham shouters, of course, better technically than the hobo stew. But for our purposes, yeah. Go ahead and make all of the coffee we can. And then I'm not going to make goldenrod tea right now. Let's see. Let's go ahead and make more bacon and eggs. What do I need for these? All right, corn, potatoes, and mushroom. I'm also hesitant about making mushroom puffs. So not do that. Um, could make a lot more boiled meat, but I don't really want to do that. Boiled meat doesn't really help too much anymore. All right, so food materials, we'll put everything in here. Baked potato doesn't count. Hops do, blueberries do, raw potato, murky water. Okay, and the last two test things are the vegetable stew, which is 31, so it's the worst by far. And then steak and potatoes, which is 50, which is up there. So we can go here, move everything up one, and then I guess we can go behind this one. There we go. That's all the food we can make right now, from worst to best in terms of food recovery. That's pretty cool. All right. Then uh, let's go ahead and I'll just add all this stuff in. Okay. here now. Excellent. Now we have everything nicely laid out. All of our water and uh, drinkables are right here. So we have our water and we got our food materials to actually you know, make stuff. We got our canned food and our actual food. So everything's kind of separated out a little bit better. I like it. Cool. Nice. Yeah. All right. I just gotta wait for this stuff to finish making. Take a while. Oh. You know, I actually might just go ahead and call things here for today. I'm sure we have like a, a, a day, actually two days technically. Go ahead of that. Excuse me, tongue tied. Technically, have two days until the horde night comes. So I'm gonna just continue to be rebuilding stuff, uh, building stuff up, making it better. Um, I like the jazz, so that's what I'll be doing. I'm going to get some wood so we can continue to build out and such. And I'm going to grab the cobblestone that I have here too, along with the wooden building blocks and the cement. And I'll leave the steel here for when we want to use it. Build another base eventually, at some point in time, you know how it um, yeah, That'll be it for now. So. Thank you all for hanging out, everyone. It was a little bit shorter stream than usual, but it's a Sunday. 
I'll do some other stuff here before it gets too late. So, until next time, I will catch you all later, and I'll, I'll show you the new changes that we've made after we uh, get back. So, bye for now.